it. So we're going to vacuum pack a few fillets now. I'll show you how I do it. First thing we need is a pile of this stuff. Liquid is our worst enemy when we're vacuum packing fish. Gets into the machine, gets into the seal bars on the machine. Can play hell with the, uh, the sealing on the bags. So uh, you don't have to be pedantic about this, but um, a quick dab off with a paper towel on the fillet before they go in the bag makes a big difference. Right. That's the bag size I like to use. Uh, that's actually uh, 20 centimetres wide by 28 bag. Um, I find it's a uh, perfect size when you're taking for two people. Fillets go in the bag, uh, it's, it's okay to overlap them, but it's a good idea to, uh, to get them nice and flat and um, always leave uh, a little bit of a gap up the sides um, that allows any air that's down the bottom of the bag to escape. The Italian Seco machines, uh, this is the 250 Premium. Um, it's actually got double seal bars in the thing, so um, that issue with uh, getting seals on the bags doesn't really become one. Uh, if they get big wide seals with a, with a full range of heat adjustment on them. So in goes the, the bag, close the machine, away we go. You got the um, chance of liquid entering the machine, you can actually activate the seal bar early, like I've done there. I think I might have got a bit of liquid up in there um, because um, I saw it flow, so we'll see what sort of seal we got on the bag. So there we go. Um, we did actually get liquid in there, but that double seal bar just uh, does a wonderful job. Um, it actually cuts through the liquid. The first seal might be a little bit suspect, but the second seal's got it. Brilliant. So the other good thing about these um, these Seco machines too is um, they're actually able to be run continuously. So you know, if you're a good fisherman, you don't have to kind of wait between cycles with the machine. You can just uh, you can fire the stuff through flat out. You can have someone loading the bags for you if you've got staff, which I don't. Um, you can have someone loading the bags and, um, and fire them through as fast as you can feed the machine. So I'll leave it on the bag's position there now, fire this bag back in the machine, and close the lid. Not sure if I got that in the machine right, so try and look at the camera at the same time, so we'll get it back in. We can always abort the mission if we don't like what we see. Right, there we go. Alright, there we go. Running it on auto, so um, that will sort itself out now. So I can start loading the next bag. thing about vacuum packing is uh, is you're massively increasing the lifespan of your uh, your food in the particularly in the freezer eh, with your fish fillets um, you can be 12 months and you can still pan fry bit of liquid coming up in that one so I just hit the manual override on it maybe uh, I didn't quite get enough liquid off these things Not a problem. There you go, see? Uh, a little bit of liquid might have got in that first seal, but uh, the second seal is brilliant. Those double seals are just so good.
these paper towels are indispensable when you're doing this sort of thing. Um, cleaning your hands, cleaning the fillets or drawing the fillets. Uh, there's, a, there's, the, there's that bag done, you can see there's some, there's absolutely no air remaining in the bag and uh, that's why things keep so well. Uh, board beside where I'm working. Um, this is what uh, I lay the fillets out on prior to putting them in the bag and getting the, uh, getting the liquid off them. Good thing about the bags that I'm using uh, versus rolls that most people use is um, with the bags, I'm not having to make uh, make the bag to start with. I can just uh, feed the fillets into the bag and off I go. So um, it significantly speeds up the process. thing is when I find uh, I find when I'm doing um, doing fish I tend to work pretty much with the same size bag um, I'm packing really for two people and you know it's simple really of guests turn up uh, take out two bags or more Good thing about um, the um, the bags too is um, it kind of regulates the size that you're doing. So you know you pretty much got them all the right size. You know, as you can see, when I'm um, when I'm processing the fillets, I um, tend to um, cut them all ready to go in the pan, and that's uh, another reason they fit so well in these small bags. I don't tend to do the, the fillets whole. I'll give you another look at those some um, of the seals on that bag. Um, because I'm just working by myself, I don't really have to alter the uh, the seal time on it. Um, I've just pretty much got it set. I'm on the number five setting, and uh, in a way I go, no mess, no fuss. Compared to your uh, your general domestic machine too, these things are running uh, with about uh, half as much vacuum pressure again, and, uh, and twice as much air extraction speed. So, um, particularly the uh, the high vacuum pressure uh, means that you're far less likely uh, to get airlocks in the bag. 
mean, even when I see, I left a little bit of a gap there, but uh, look at that. No air. It really is worth doing this vacuum packing to your fillets. Um, you know, I find in the freezer, you know, even within literally weeks, if you haven't done this, you know, your fish fillets start to get that, those ice crystals forming on them, start to take, uh, taste old. Uh, get an odd size pack here. Oh, what will do this? I was paying too much attention to the camera and not much attention to the last bag that I got. And that is going to be it. thing about those double seal bars is um, you don't really have to worry too much about getting a bit of um, mess from your hands on the on the top of the bag you know I try to leave the big chunks out but uh, you can get a little bit of uh, residue around there and you'll still get a seal on the bag See, there's another one you know look at that it probably wasn't fussy enough drawing it off but uh, fair bit of liquid come up. I did the manual override on the seal. A little bit's gone into the first seal, but that second seal's brilliant. So, a couple of small bags to finish off. job done. Well, it wasn't a bad day today. Um, I didn't get as much video as I would have liked. I only bought the camera yesterday, so uh, I'm a learner. So um, I if I know how it happened, but uh, a couple of times there I think I pushed uh, the wrong button and we got a, a lovely snapshot, not a video. So I only got about a quarter of what I, uh, what I was supposed to get. I had a uh, sort of intro and an outro and stuff when I was out there on the water, but then I think that turned to custard on me, but uh, I got a little bit of footage there, so uh, I'm going to put it up and see what you guys think. Cheers, thanks.